Tracy, and today we will be going over how to calculate a mean of standard deviation on the calculator. So for those of you who have a TI-84 or better, um, the best way to do this is um, to go on the calculator. So I'm going to share my screen so you can see that. Um, okay. So you get the calculator. This should. Um, this is how your home screen should look. You're going to press stats. You're going to click on edit, and you're going to type in um, the number. So in this data set, we had ten point ten. Eight point four, ten point seven, nine point five, nine point four, nine point eight, ten, nine point nine, eleven point two, um, twelve point one. Okay, so we're then going to arrow over to L two. We're going to arrow up to L two. And you're going to put, um, so second one times second one. So basically L1 to L1, this is going to produce X squared. And then you're just gonna arrow down. So all of the numbers should appear here, okay? Um, and this is just for those of you who may wanna just try to do it by hand, all right? Um, so once you have the data in here, you're going to click on stat again, and you're going to arrow over to calc and do one bar stats. So we're just doing L1, which is our data, and then we press calculate. Okay, so here's our data. It gives us our mean and our standard deviation. So here our mean is 10.11. And it says our sample standard deviation is 1.024. It said four decimal places. So one, two, three, four. So 1.0246, okay? So that's essentially how you would do this in the calculator. You can arrow down. It gives you more information than that. But that's essentially it. Now, um, hopefully this helps. For those of you who may have wanted to do it by hand, uh, the reason why I made you do L2 was so you can actually calculate both and then continue on by plugging into the formulas, okay? So if you did want to do that, the stat button would have provided you with all of the items here. So we could have just done X squared, so 102. 0 0.01, 70.56, 114.49, 90.25, 88.36, 96.04, 100, 98.01, 125.44, 146.41. Okay, so this gives you your columns x and x squared. So the best thing that you could do at this moment is to go ahead and add up both. Now, granted, um, I wonder, can I copy and just drag this over here? Oh, it's going to let me do that. Perfect. So granted, it gives you all the information here. So there's really little for you to calculate at this point because the calculator did do it for you. Um, but again, this is for those who may want to try to do it by hand just to double check that they have it correctly, right? So when we do the sum of X, notice it already had the sum of X as 101.1, 101.1. And it also has the sum of x squared as 1031.57, okay? So filling in this information for the calculator, this means that you essentially could have done the sum of uh, x, which they just said was 101.1 over n, which was 10, right? And that gave you 10.1 as your mean, or 10.11 as your mean. Okay, 
um, for the sum of squares, a little bit different, right? So at this point, it will give you everything to plug in, but you would have to calculate that. And so when we calculate this out, it essentially would have given you, let's see, the sum of x squared, which was 1,031.57 minus the sum of x, which is 101.1 squared over n, which was 10. So when we do 1,031.57, one thousand thirty one point five seven minus one oh one point one squared divided by ten. That essentially gives you nine point four four nine. Okay. And we'll put this here. We'll make this smaller so it does fit. Okay, so that's just the sum of squares, right? So in order to calculate standard deviation, you would just plug this value in. Uh, so sum of squares we just figured out was 9.449 over n minus one. So 10 minus one, which is nine. So you essentially would do the square root. Okay, divided by nine. Okay, and this would roughly give you a really long number if you're doing it by hand. But again, um, they said to round to four decimal places. So all you're doing here in this case is going to be about 1.0246 if we're rounding to four decimal places. Okay, so. Um, Again, that's two different ways to do it if you're doing it by hand or if you're doing it by calculator. If you're doing it by calculator, hopefully this was helpful for the steps of going through of how to do it. Um, if you're doing it by hand, hopefully this helps you out as well. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out. Um, my profile will be uh, for this answer. Okay, take care.